Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be doing a hair tutorial on this style that I'm rocking today and that I wear in a ton of my videos, uh, especially after my Valentine's Day tutorial. A lot of you guys asked how I get my hair with those kind of beachy, messy, lived in waves. So I wanted to do an updated hair tutorial because what I'm using in this video is different than what I have been using in my past videos that I may have mentioned. So anyways, the product in this video Absolutely was not sent to me or anything. I bought it with my own moolah on QVC. I'm a huge QVC fan. If you guys know me, you probably know that already, that I'm a big, huge QVC lover. Like, I just always have it playing in the background. And then all of a sudden, I'll just, like, hear something from, like, the other end of the house. And I'm like, wait, what are they talking about? I need to get it. I need it. It doesn't even matter what it is. So, yeah, really quick before we get into the actual tutorial itself, I wanted to talk about the product that I have been using and I'm obsessing over which is this right here this is the Sarah Potempa Beach Waver S1 and like I said I got it on QVC I don't remember what the price was I think it was like um, a today special value or something like that so the price might be different but I will link it below anyways it is kind of a mixture between a traditional curling iron and a curling wand so as you can see right here that has a clamp Ooh, like a traditional curling iron and then it is like wand like like you know a curling wand so I'm so mad that I didn't think of this myself and I'm glad that somebody else did because I'm obsessed with it so basically what you do is you clamp your hair at the very bottom right here and then it has this twisting little device that curls it for you so there's a wand you can choose whatever direction you want to go in and it just wraps your hair around the barrel itself which I think is brilliant because A it saves you time and B it saves you many injuries wounds and burns <laughs> I don't know if you guys are anything like me but I am very like clumsy I drop things I break things I hurt myself and this is a great invention to avoid that because I know that I have burned myself so many times with so many scars on my hands from curling wands like scars on your neck that look like hickeys or scars on your cheek or scars on your ears or just burning yourself and this kind of takes away all of those risks which is why I'm such a big fan of it you don't have to worry about holding the iron this way or like getting caught and strangled on the cord you don't have to worry about any of that this thing has got you covered it's gonna keep you safe and warm at night <laughs> just makes it so much easier to do so if you're kind of like struggling with the whole curling wand thing wrapping around you just can't figure it out get this it will help you so much and it'll give you just like those perfect beachy waves. It's kind of that lived in messy textured wave which I am really into. It's very popular right now and yeah. The other thing that sold me on this is the fact that this is what they use on the Victoria's Secret Angels during the Victoria's Secret fashion show and we all know that they have beautiful gorgeous effortless hair. So yeah the curls look so shiny and they hold for days like I don't wash my hair for days at a time and it kind of just keeps that nice wave and I just am obsessed so yeah enough of me blabbing let's just get into the tutorial all right so I'm just gonna brush my hair really quick I've been actually really been loving this uh, kind of like detangling brush I got it at Ulta I'm not sure the brand but I will try to find it and link it for you guys I'm just going to clip up the top section of my hair. Again, we are not like reinventing the wheel or anything here. Um, but this is just what I do and I wanted to share it with you guys just because I want to share my secrets with you guys. I use it at 390. Um, I believe the lowest setting is like 350 and I have it set to slow so it goes um, slow. Here's what fast looks like. <laughs> so basically I just take a section this one's probably I don't know this wide like an inch wide section and I take the little clip go all the way down leave about I don't know like an inch or so and then just press the button and it starts wrapping and I don't go all the way to the root um, you can but I personally just don't and then I leave it for, I don't know, five seconds or so. 
Um, and again, there's a few different heat settings and I just use 390 degrees. And you take it out and you have this curl like this. And I know it looks kind of like Shirley Temple-ish and whatever, not what you want. We'll come back and we will deal with that later. So just go to the end and let it go. And you can kind of change like how far up you go with the um, with the iron on each one, kind of make it a little bit different with each little piece. But it's just so easy to do. And also has like a home button. So say you finish off and your clamp's way over here, you just hit the home button and it brings it all the way back home. So I think that's kind of cool. Um, so again, just curl away. So easy, a monkey could do it, a freaking child baby could do it. Although there's like all those like little toddlers on Instagram like doing their makeup like better than me and I'm just like, what the hell is this? All right, so now that I've finished my bottom section, I'm just going to spray it really quick with hairspray. The one that I've been using right now is the Sebastian Shaper Dry Brushable Styling Hairspray with Control. So I like it with a little bit of hold, but still that you can brush through it and touch it and it's not gonna feel like, like a plastic piece of hair or like just so stiff and crunchy and crispy and bleh. No, not into that. So just kind of leave it alone for now and then just take down the top section <coughs> and breathe because you just ingested so much fumes. Oh my god. Alright, so I'm gonna take down the top section. Start in the back and just keep doing the same thing. Like like I said, it's so easy that you probably don't even need to see me keep doing this, but we will, just for learning purposes. Alright, then I'm going to spray it. And then after I spray it, I'm just going to run my fingers through it. Kind of break it up a little bit so it's not so, like, perfect and uniform looking. After that, then I just tease like a tiny little bit. I take a little section. Spray it with hairspray. And then tease it with a teasing comb. This is just from, I think, like Target or something. Just to get a, give it a little oomph. Nothing crazy though. My head is already huge. I don't really need it to look that much bigger. <laughs> So once you're all teased, you're good to go, and this is the finished result. I hope you guys like it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Probably oh, because you're anything like me, and you have lipstick on your chin because you ate a chocolate strawberry while your battery was charging. Let's just cover that up. The cherry powder with this wand. I know somebody out there is gonna be like. <laughs> I wake up in the morning and my hair looks just like that. I don't need to do that. Oh my god. Congratulations. But some of us wake up with your with our hair pointing in 8,000 different directions. And we need to tame the beast. We need to do something with it because we weren't as blessed as you.